Hey, it's your boy Bobby Beach. I want to talk about a subject that comes to mind, uh, and that is the image of God. That is correct. Uh, we're going to be talking about that. A lot of people uh, really don't really want to talk about the image of God. A lot of people believe that the Lord did not want to talk about his image, but he does. And not only that, there was a time where he did not let people see him at all. But now in recent times, he is letting people see him. So basically, we're going to be talking about his true image. We're going to be talking about things of that nature. And we're going to we're just going to speak on some stuff. But uh, that's basically what it's going to be. We're going to talk about him. So I'm about to go right ahead and play this music for you. Run from the hood. Yeah. Run from the hood. Yeah. Run from the hood. Yeah. Bobby Beast be the main uh, man. Cerebral with a game plan. Yeah. Chess moves and strategies. Uh, I warrior with angels. Uh, Moving in them angles. Uh, we went from thrones and crowns uh, to projects and trailer parks. Yeah. You tell me what's yeah. going down. Yeah. My sword is sharp. Uh, Cut a demon's heart. Uh, Bobby Beast don't fear nothing. I fight it all in the dark. Moving all through streets, yeah. them niggas claim that they deep, yeah. but they'll stab you right side back. Yeah. You gotta fight them niggas like that. Yeah. We don't play no games, moving around. They play games when we talking around. Yeah. Ran by the waist yeah. and we slam them down. Yeah. Pick them on their head yeah. and we slam them again. No more running, ain't no more talking. They talk shit, but we do all the walking. No one is running, we gunning and packing. Do the shit and we moving the next thing. Run from the hood, run from the hood, run from the hood, run from the hood. Keep your circle small, keep your circle small, keep your circle small, keep your circle small. Trust is rare, loyalty is rare, truth is rare, real is rare, no one real no more. They all done change, they seem like they just going crazy, losing all their mains. Take the clip, we gon' move the rip, we don't play no games, we moving on the drip. I come back with mine, you come back with yours, to the tap, to the jack, when we moving like that. Cutting and running and moving and done and y'all playing them games. We hit you with sun and I ain't scared. I'm gonna have to show you. Y'all niggas think a nigga be playing when he quiet. Run from the hood. Run from the hood. Run from the hood. Run from the hood. Keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. Run from the hood. Run from the hood. Run from the hood. Run from the hood. Keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. Keep your circle small. Yeah, run from the hood. Don't trust nobody. Niggas want to pull you down. People ain't real like they used to be. Trust yourself. And that right there was Run From The Hood. That is from the Ryan and Bianca Run From The Hood soundtrack. And Ryan and Bianca is a book that I put out. It's a book that I published and you can read it. You can purchase it. You can check it out. It is on uh, Kindle. It's on Amazon. It's on Barnes & Noble. It's on Nook. So check that book out when you get a chance. And the soundtrack is out too. The soundtrack is on iTunes. Uh, Apple, Spotify, Amazon, Pandora. So you can check all that out. So if you like the Run From The Hood song, check it out. If you like the book or want to check out the book, check it out. So that's pretty much what I'm talking about with that one. Um, but we're here to talk about the image of God. First off, I don't call him God. He is the highest. He is the most high. He's never called himself God. A lot of people call him that, but he never called himself that. Um, now we're going to talk about his image. Now, when it comes to his image, a lot of people, when they look at, um, you know, God, Christ, whatever you may be, they see a, a white man with blonde hair, blue eyes, or maybe, you know, dark, dark brown hair, you know, something of that, that, that nature. Now, first and foremost, let me talk with you guys about this. This is not about race. Okay. Cause if we want to talk about race, we're going to have to talk about the, um, basically the difference of race. A lot of people don't talk about the difference of race. Okay. The difference of race is basically the black people are the oldest race in the earth, in the world. And that's not just biblical. That's science. That's scientific. 
Black people are the oldest race in the world. The second oldest race under us are the Asians. So, you know, the Chinese, the Japanese, um, you know, the, the Filipinos, the uh, Koreans, second oldest. The third oldest, as far as I know, are like the Indians from like India in terms of like them and Arabics. They're 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 left they're elder number three. Elder number four um, is pretty much um, uh, like the Mayans and the Indians and, and even the Mexicans are believed to be included in that that culture. Because believe it or not, Mexico was here before America, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, a, a bunch of places. South America was here, too. So they're in that reign. The youngest race in the world are white people, right? White people are the youngest race here. So that's something a lot of people don't know. So this is not about race. We're talking about basically, I'm telling you the image of, uh, of the Lord. I'm telling you the image of God. Um, and basically, um, this is the situation. How does he look? Well, this is how he looks. He is very dark skin. Like he has skin so dark. It looks like the night sky and he has, or sometimes it's like that complexion. Sometimes it's dark Brown. He is uh, very big, huge dude, muscles, just straight muscles. He got hair that's so white and bright, and, and it's called snow. Now, a lot of people have said they've seen him, and he looks exactly like that. Some people have seen him in dreams. Some people have seen him here and there. But he's to the point now where he lets people see who he is. There was a time he would not do it, because if you look back, there's several times in the scriptures where he will say, if you look on me, you will die. So it, it was a scenario where it was like, yeah, back then he wasn't letting people look at him, but now he is. So why is he letting people look at him now? I really couldn't tell you why. But I can tell you that it, it's closer. We're closing in on the end. So for him to reveal his image and reveal who he is says a lot. Plus, it it's uh, Book of Revelations. Book of Revelations described him perfectly. And for there's some people who've never read in that book and never read those scriptures there that said that they saw how he looked and they described him perfectly before they even read that. In the book of Revelations, they said he has hair like wool and it was white as snow. Say he has skin like brass burning in a furnace. Say he had eyes that blazed like fire. Uh, pretty much a perfect description to the image a lot of people have, have seen of him. But he's a very big dude. Like I'm talking, he's standing up like seven to eight feet muscle. <laughs> so the image of the Lord is that. Yeah, he is a black man. But it's not the fact of saying, okay, he's a black man. No, it's not that. Remember, he made man in his image. So if he make a man in his image and the first man is black and black people are the oldest race on earth, that is the reason why he looks like that. As a matter of fact, the angels are black or they look black. But I want to say that the angels are albino. As weird as that may sound, they are. There are people who have encountered angels and they are albino. Every angel in terms of like, like human being, they look like an albino. So uh, from Michael to, you know, Gabriel, um, who else? Uh, uh, Uriel, um, Raphael, even Lucifer all look albino. So they got some black in them. You can tell they got black in them, but they look albino, which means they have that complexion. They have the um, blonde hair and the blue eyes, but they have black features and features that favor that of white folks. So basically that's how angels look. So basically when it comes down to it, I'm giving you the images of how the Lord looks and how he carries himself because a lot of people don't know. Now, the person, I mean, for years, you guys have seen uh, the guy, you know, the blonde hair, blue eyed dude. Again, this is not a race thing, but he was based on Caesar Borgia. And for those of you who don't know, Caesar Borgia had a father who was the Pope and when Caesar Borgia died because he died uh, very young. He died young. His father wanted every picture or painting of Christ to look like his son. So when you check out Caesar Borgia and you look at him, you will see that he looks just like Christ or rather the image of Christ looks like him. So how did that happen? I just told you, basically his father wanted um, the Christ to look like his son. So before then, people are thinking, okay, well, were there pictures before then? Yes, there were pictures of Christ before then. How did they look? The pictures of Christ before the whole thing with Caesar Borgia, he was a black dude with a bare face, had an afro. He's always associated with having an afro. The oldest picture of him 
It depicts him of having an afro. His complexion is that of being light skin or being brown skin or even dark brown. And there are times where he has a beard and an afro or his bare face and an afro. So those are the oldest pictures of Christ. Those are the oldest pictures of him. Um, and you can check you can check that out, too. It's not a thing of me saying, OK, well, God is black. Christ is black. No, these are things of saying this is what it is. It's not a situation of saying, OK, someone, OK, this makes me qualify like this. It doesn't. This is me talking about what it is. It's talking about truth. All right. It's the truth. At the end of the day, you're going to want to know the truth. And I'm pretty much just telling you the truth. Um, so with that being said, um, when you look at it, it's like, you know, the image. No one knew his image. A lot of some people did. And there's some people who admit his image. And there were some people who were just trying to make him look like something that he was not. And that has been going on for a long time. So the image of God, does that matter? A lot of people will say, no, it doesn't really matter. It does because he has an appearance. All right. Everybody has an appearance. And if that's just how he looks, that's how he looks. It, it, it That's just what it is. At the end of the day, it's not about how you look. Though you're supposed to carry yourself how you want, you got to pay attention to how you look. But it's about who you are and what type of person you are. So no matter how the Lord really look, would you ever want him not to give you the love that you want from him? Would you ever not want him to be there for you like you want? Would you never want him to stand with you? I'm sure you wouldn't. I'm pretty sure you look at him and you love him for who he is. But at the same time, loving him for who he is, you have to believe the truth about who he is and how he looks. Because for a long time, it's been hidden. And there are people who knows how he looks. And for a long, the longest, they will say, OK, yeah, that's him. Like, for example, don't you know the oldest pictures of Mary and Jesus, like baby, like Mary and baby Jesus, like little Jesus? They're black. Huh? Black mama, black baby. Those are the oldest pictures of Jesus with his mom. All right. So when we're talking about the image of the Lord, again, image is not everything, but I'm just telling you about who he is and what he looked like. Um, but yeah, you got to you got to pay attention to who you are and what you do, because you got to think to yourself, OK, well, if this is how he always looked, then why would they not tell us? There's a reason behind everything. There is a reason behind everything. But at the end of the day, you, it's, it's your, you're supposed to look at things for what they look at reality. You can't make up stuff and say that's real when it's not. This is pretty much the truth. Um, because, for example, if people were to go around saying uh, Gandhi was Asian and we know he wasn't. Or if we go around saying uh, stuff like, I don't know, Elvis was black. Or if we go around saying stuff. Like, okay, uh, Bruce Lee, he was originally from India or, you know, things of that nature. We're all the same. We're human beings. But at the end of the day, we have to be the truth about who we are. We have to embrace the truth of who we are. And that's just the truth. Uh, love one another, not for, you know, complexion. Love one another, not for what they have, but love one another because of the, how they treat you. If a person treats you with the most uh, love and the most dignity, then you should care. If they don't, leave them alone. Sometimes we like people who don't like us or people we like people who does not treat us good. But for whatever reason, we feel as though we want to keep them you know, around and we have to be around them. It's not the way how it's not about how a person looks. It's not about what they have. It's about how they treat you at the end of the day. And the same thing for you. It's about how you treat them. It's not about what you look. Because some people think because they look a certain way, that's all you need. There's some women and some men out there that think because they look great or they look, uh, that's all they need. They ain't got to work. They ain't got to do nothing. They, you know, boom. And and, and they're, um, for real, there's people that think like that. But the thing is, don't get caught up in that because that means nothing. It is about what a person does. It's about how they treat you and how you treat them. So, yeah, that's just me telling you what it is when it comes down to it. I just want to let you guys know about um people in general and I also want to let you know about the uh the true image of how the Lord really looks cuz a lot of people don't know. It's pretty much what I wanted to do. Um so I'm going to go right ahead and play. I'm going to go ahead and play you guys some music. What kind of track we're going to be listening to first? Let's start off with this track right here. Uh it is called 
Boss Moves. It's coming from my upcoming album called Winter Green Ops. Check it out and tell me uh, what you think. We're about to go right ahead and we're going to be playing this thing right here. I'm a flopper seller, I just the bad one. Don't ask me why I spot that ass. Bobby Beast, uh huh. Bobby Beast, uh huh. Boss moves. I'm lighting for me, uh huh. I'm flying for me. Prepare for you and you will not restore me. No. Back at you again with a Carolina story. Uh -huh. goes on and on and on and on. Is dirty, chicks is dirty. Be the ones that you raised with. Put a knife in your back. Look around, look around, look around, look around, look around, look around. Growing up, it don't even matter. Looking at everybody that play games. I ain't playing games like that. I'm focused. Do what I gotta do, bruh. Move this. Uh. Looking at the people that I love and the people that I'm with, no matter what. Uh, niggas try to say they got your back Putting knives all inside of your guts Better get the blade, better get the gun Better get ready, no more games on us We fighting, we going this hands We going with this and we moving real fast I got my weapon and I'm to the tatter Moving, 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 moving to the, to the tatter Me, you don't know how I move I'm a mercenary, I gotta do this Uh I'm a flopper seller, I'm just a bad one Don't ask me why I spot that ass Bobby Beast, boss moves I'm lighting for me, I'm flying for me Prepare for you and you will not restore me Back at you again with a Carolina story It goes on and on and on and on That you raised with Put a knife in your back Look around, look around, look around, look around, look around, look around No more games, look at everybody that you love I ain't playing no games with nobody Cause it seem like every time I'm chilling with them Nuts fuckers turning they back on me I thought that you was right here Thought that you stand by me Thought we were soldiers And you girl, I thought you was my lover But every time I turn around be the people that I'm standing right with, always chilling with the enemy, enemy, and I don't get it, not one bit, not at all, so listen, I'm getting ready, uh, got the knife here, got the gun here, I ain't back it down for nothing, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. I'm a Bobby Beast, boss moves. I'm lighting for me. I'm flying for me. Prepare for you and you will not restore me. Back at you again with a Carolina story. It goes on and on and on and on and on. Niggas is dirty. Chicks is dirty. Be the ones that you raised with. Put a knife in your back. Look around, look around, look around, look around, look around, look around.
city, rhythm and flow through my body. I feel it hit me. I wanna go with my niggas. We getting litty. Ain't no telling that we might be in your neighborhood. Bringing positivity. I know they hate it. Ooh, I wanna celebrate the fact that we are making this, and we don't need a record deal to say we're breaking hits. I know they say you don't know me, but you just gotta show me. We roll around with the only, even with all the homies. Be careful who you hang around. They just might be the phonies. The one. Without that macaroni We tryna stop with ease Why they just tryna troll me I just begging them please I'm drinking like an OG Give me 8 or 24 shots That's for Kobe You. I'm telling you the truth, we riding like Coop hey. She my troop, bunny and Clyde on my side like Paige And fuck all the haters who look and see They know we beautiful, yeah, we walk in peace Yeah, she ride with me, till the wheels fall off Every day we was born to be some boxes together And we're rocking together, hey. she rocking my sweater Scoop on rum and gear, uh, you liking the leather Gift you with anything, cause you down for me No in between she acknowledged me, and I acknowledge her. No in betweens, no difference, but we differently love each other. If you know what I mean, she gon' ride to the sky. No rocket, we gon' glide. Get our piece of the pie Fuck this middle class living Hit the streets at the buy Just to open the sunroof And let this life get you hot It's amazing and crazy That I got plans for you baby In the fast lane doing 80 We blowing smoke vision hazy On our team is behaving No one but you here to save it Not my fault so don't blame me We perfect baby don't change me Life with me can be gravy Let's sell the world like the Navy This is certain not maybe Get treated like a real lady All the drama don't phase me My hard times are what made me But I've been living good lately I'm going where God it's takes me. So Cause you know I'm gonna rule this Holding with these chicks Dancing with these chicks They know that I don't play I try to move up with these chicks Yo, grab them by their waist Pull their hip here Lap moving, dap moving No more playing games She cool with me, I'm cool with her I keep my cool all the time But she always got me tripping I'm like You know how I do, I'm so cool The things that you do drive me fool Things that you do drive me fool You know what I want to do to you, baby Baby You know what I want to do to you, baby I want to hold you I want to talk to you I want to be that nigga I'm going to sit there rock with you You good, I'm good You hood, I'm hood You know what I am and I know what you are to see We all about that money and we about that ambition If them niggas play around and all the rest we don't listen But uh, you, you different 
Uh, you a chick that move me round, you a myth on it. I'ma say, come with me, I come with you. Chill with me, I chill with you. Thrill with me, I thrill with you. Rock it hard, we moving through. You got that love, I got that love, we got respect. We won't still build, we won't still make some money. That is what we do. I make a church, you give me the brick. Them other people talking shit, they make us sick. But they ain't slick, we got this. We can build that money over them and us over all of that. We gon' rise up all of that life. You know how I do, I'm so cool. Oh, the things that you do drive me fool. The things that you do drive me fool. You know what I wanna do to you, baby. Baby. You know what I wanna do to you, baby. I've been thinking about you lately You know that you drive me crazy Been on my mind On my mind You know this ain't supposed to happen You know we gotta keep this on the low You know we supposed to keep the secret You know that we always been too close Can't let them know Can't let them know And that right there was so cool, which is from the Ryan and Bianca Run From The Hood soundtrack. And uh, basically, uh, that's a track that you could definitely listen to on um, Apple Music, iTunes, Amazon, Spotify, Pandora, many places. It's from the Ryan and Bianca soundtrack. The song before that was Ride, which is from Ashley Park featuring Scoopo. Uh, that is also on Amazon, um, uh, what iTunes, Spotify, all that good stuff. Why are people uh, 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 <laughs> sending me messages while I'm doing this? Um, but basically... Uh, it's all over the place. Ashley Park is a, is a great group. You can check that out. Not only that, uh, the track comes from that. There's an album called Ashley Park, which is awesome. And there's a track, an album called Ashley Park Impulse. That track comes from Impulse. The track before that, again, that track is Boss Moves. And that is from Wintergreen Ops, which will be coming out soon. And that's from my upcoming new album. So yeah, just want to let you guys know that. But yeah, we were talking about, uh, the image of the, of God and basically the main thing about the image of God, we were just talking about how he really look. And we were pretty much talking about the fact that it's not about racism. It's not about race or saying, okay, because God looks like this, that means he's more like us. No, the Lord is in everybody. We live in a world that he created. We speak with voices that he spoke. We breathe air that he breathed and, and we are all a part of one another. And that's pretty much the truth. We are all, like they say, one big family under the sky. And that's nothing but the truth. And then the more people begin to see that, because remember this, racism did not exist in the world at a point. Really, the most of the time of the world, most of the time man was here, racism was not a big problem. Racism really became like a recent problem among us. And before then, no one saw skin color. Nobody cared. They would describe you, but they would not care about your skin color. There was no racism thing about, you know, things of that nature. So there was a time in the world where that did not exist. But um, basically, um, yeah, just want to talk with you guys. Uh, we were speaking here on the image of God, who I call the highest, the most high. His name is Yahweh. By the way, his son's name is not Jesus Christ. It is Emmanuel, or you can call him Yahweh ben Yahweh. And now I know there's a brother who's known as Yahweh ben Yahweh, but the name of Yahweh ben Yahweh, as far as I know, belongs to the Christ. So basically, that's what I wanted to say there. So if you ever need him, now don't get it twisted. A lot of people call God, uh, you know, call the father uh, God. He still he'll still talk to you because I mean who's gonna judge you because you don't know the truth if you don't know his real name and he prefers you to pray to his real name he doesn't prefer to be called God he he's he doesn't like God and um he is called 
Father. You can call him Yahweh. Uh, you know, call him the Most High because he is the Most High. Or and when it comes to his son, you can call him Emmanuel. You can call him Yahweh Ben Yahweh. There's some people out there who call him the name of uh, Yahshua. Just different things. But basically, I just want to give you some truth of him because remember, the, the letter J is... A, it's more like the newest letter to ever exist in the world. So how is it that he was called Jesus Christ when J didn't even exist during the time that he exists? So, you know, that's pretty much what I want to say to you guys when it comes down to that. But I just want to say to you all that this is your boy, Bobby Beast here. I just want to say much love, much respect, hold it down and one.